Hi, this is John Lennon with JLo Magic Entertainment. Back here to teach you the tutorial on how to put this together in case you have never seen something like this done. It's really easy to do, okay? So first thing we're gonna start with is I'm gonna blow up the 160. I'm using a 160 orange, okay? And I got my 160 pump. Uh, if you have four pumps, you can really pump this thing up and maybe explode it if you're not careful. So uh, there we go. I'm leaving about uh, like quite a bit of a tell there. We're not gonna use all that. So uh, give it a nice little squeeze. And please pardon the sound if you uh, dislike balloons twisting. Um, I'm going to do about <coughs> three fingers there. That's three fingers. Okay. Twist off there. Pull that nozzle through so it locks it in place. And I'm going to repeat that. Okay. And one thing to keep in mind is that um, if you look at this at the end, right before we put the tail on this, uh, three out of four of these designs are pretty much the same uh, with the addition of the tails. Uh, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So next, we got our round. Now that that's prepped. We're going to blow this up about the size of a baseball, just because of the size of the round and want it to look good when we squeeze that round to uh, make it work. So here we go. So yeah, so about the size of a football. You can play with that a little bit. The baseball. more A baseball. Did I say football? Pardon me. <laughs> so uh, I guess I don't know what that would even work with this balloon. But So then I'm going to try to split it more or less around the middle. Uh, look, at, look at the face when you do that. It should look something like that. Okay, so none of the edges are really going too far away. They're still pretty much on the front there. And if it does do that, then you can play with the, the size here when you're squeezing it. But that looks pretty good to me. Okay, so I'm going to take this, bring it right inside there, and just give them a twist. So it'll get nice and slow for you. Okay, and it doesn't matter if the face is oriented, you know, uh, perfectly right now. Just as long as it's secured in there, you can always, you know, adjust that when you're done. Okay. So now we're going to go down underneath here. We're going to make the legs, okay? So it's about, uh, again, about three fingers, more or less, and just repeat, okay? And at the back here, we're going to add a pinch twist. And that nozzle we have there is perfect because it can go right around that. I'm going to go around this leg one time and then back over here again to try to help it really secure in there, okay? Now we're coming back to the front going to max out of the leg okay and some people do this other uh, different ways you could take this balloon and feed it through that's one way but what I'm going to do these are sides right next to each other parallel I'm going to take this and I'm going to do a roll through with this back bubble it's going to come underneath this helps it uh, speed up the process see now it's really secured in there uh, kind of probably you if you're doing this and following along you probably think well that's a no-brainer but I have to explain it because it's the nice thing to do it's the right thing to do <laughs> so anyway um, now we just match up here, and you can kind of eyeball out there, okay? Now here's uh, going to be the, probably the hardest part uh, for some people maybe, is I'm going to break it off, but I'm not going to break it off there. I'm going to hold it up against me here, and I'm going to break it off down here because uh, I need to make sure that I have a tail, because I'm not going to tie it off. I'm actually going to wrap it around this whole head, head area there, okay? So about right there, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and tie this off over here, so I'm still going to use it for the tail. So we'll come back to that. Putting it in my nasty armpit for a second. Okay. All right, so that towel, I'm just going to take it and wrap it around here, around the ear and the head and the ear section. There we go. It's nice and secure. Adjust the legs a little bit so they're nice and centered. You can kind of see the head's cocked to the side, but that's nothing. You just look at it yourself. Figure out what looks best. Adjust it. So now you can see. There we go. We're pretty much done here except for the... So that's how you would do the bear and the panda too? Yes, that is true. The bear and the panda, if you were the, uh, doing the bear and the panda, you would pretty much be done with it at this point. Okay, so the tiger, the addition, and which is nice because we have a lot of balloon left over here, is going to go right in there in the tail. And um, it's really up to you as far as aesthetics. You can keep the knotted end and just break it off and then tie it in there. But I like the rounded tail uh, as far as the end goes, so I'm going to squeeze the air to the end here. And that's probably a good size, actually. Yep, that's a good size for me. Right there, okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and, actually, hate biting the balloon, but that's okay. All right, and I'm gonna snip off, if I didn't bring my scissors here. Boy, what an unprepared guy. Anyway, got this little tail on here. Gonna roll it right into the pinch twist here on the back. So you can see it comes together pretty fast. 
Uh, you know, of course we're in teach mode, so it takes a little bit longer. But once you learn it, boy, you just, you'll be killing it. No time. So you can see it's it's really cute, really nice, really fast. And the last thing you would do if you didn't have any white marker is you would just go along and add some black stripes. Okay? So that's the easy part about this. Like I said, it makes it for this design. You can see the bear. Look at the comparison there. See, pretty much the same, except no tail. And then we got the panda over here. Again, about the same thing right there. Look at that. Pretty much identical all the way around. Again, no tail. And that's the only difference. Okay? Let's go over the dog really fast. The dog is a little bit different. And here's where it differs. Uh, the ear portion is where it's going to differ. And not any more difficult or anything like that. So uh, <clears throat> let's just do it really fast so you can see. Okay. So again, we have our our print. Oops, excuse me. That's the panda. And there we go. And there's the dog. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I'll get the dog here prepped in just a moment. We'll come back to him. Let's just uh, get this started here. So I'm going to do a loop twist here. Uh, we got three fingers again. Pinch twist. That's about a one inch bubble there or one finger in my case. Okay. All right. So now I'm actually going to go to my balloon because I'm getting ready to attach that. So again, about baseball size. That's about right. There we go. And again, just uh, play with it a couple times and see what what's, works best for you uh, when you go to split it and, and uh, you know look at the face and see what you like. Okay. There you go. Kind of get an idea there. Okay. So I'm going to attach that uh, right here. I'm going to do about a I would say about two fingers there on that using that 160. Roll it in there. Okay. And we're going to do just like we did with the, the legs for that uh, tiger example. So we got our three fingers there. Another match it. Pinch this in the back here. Okay. And this nozzle is right here. It's going to go right around there. Okay. I just go around once, go underneath, and come back out that side there. Okay. And this match up here. Again, rolling it underneath. There you go. Okay, keep it nice and secure. And we're back up here to the ear area. So we're going to match that one right there. We're going to go around. Okay. I'm going to go around one more time just to make sure it's nice and secure. There we go. Good. Okay, and now we're just matching up this right here. We got our two finger bubble there. We got our pinch twist. And we're going to end with our loop at the end again. Uh, don't you know get used to it if you can't eyeball it uh, just use your fingers to match them up You know a lot of times people's hand sizes are not changing so uh, While you're doing some twisting and I'm gonna go around that pin switch just a couple times just to help it uh, Be secured in there. I'm gonna break that off as close as possible there. Let it go slowly I don't want that going all over the place that ears a little cocked, but that's okay. okay And last but not least we got our tail left over Do a little short tail for this dog Okay. And again, icky, icky. Oh, you had to show me eating that balloon. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and fix that here real quick. Okay. So you can see that it's 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 pretty fast. Again, just going in teach mode here. But if you're doing this, you know, you start cranking them out, uh, you'll definitely be uh, helping. You know, a lot of people put a lot of people. A smiles on their faces really fast so you could put that tail however you like uh, you know I had it just sticking straight up in the air um, but anyway let me uh, turn that a little bit there we go so you can kind of see the little doggy there <laughs> move it around a little bit but yeah you can if you have a red marker you can definitely color the tongue so that'll be something neat so anyway uh, the nice part about this is you could put on a bracelet if you wanted to which is pretty cute or a headband you know what I mean it's a lot of times you know we just start to do a bigger piece is we have to like maybe do half of it instead of doing the whole piece so it won't be so big but these are you know pretty small and compact and pretty cute so anyway uh, that's a nice little tutorial for you I hope you find it useful I hope you come up with your own you know design as far as you know the ears go uh, maybe something that works for you so anyway again I do want to thank uh, uh, La Rocks for for you know us getting together and doing this, but also again uh, Jamie Stavlo. I wanted to give credit for her because uh, that's the first place that I saw this, and so I 
you know, uh, wanted to share that with you and hopefully it's something useful for you. So um, I hope you, again, hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, um, feel free to shoot me a, a message on Facebook or anything. I'll be happy to help you. All right. Thanks for watching.